morning everybody hope everybody is fine healthy and staying safe um let's check the rankings just for fun let's see how how many points um suang olong has this time okay well he had 2005 25502 points yesterday now he has 26933 so that's another increase of 1,431 points in one day. He's soon going to surpass his fellow countrymen. Um, I forgot their names, um, but um, he'll, he'll soon surpass getting over 30,000 30, points. And then hopefully he'll be um, banned or removed from the um, top, top um, 25. But uh, that's beside the point. Let's play our game just for fun. And of course, it's a live stream. We do, I don't know who I'm going to get to play against. It's like um, a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So let's, let's play and then on an online match. Let's start our game today. Okay. All right. Well, I hope he intends to play. Well, okay. Let's. That was a short, quick game. Let's try somebody else. Oh, no, Kazanzi, three thousand three hundred five. Let's see if I can beat him. At least he's a higher-ranked player. Okay, I will play my usual. Play. I'm going to try to really concentrate and try to beat him. So I'm going to play my normal strategy, try to dominate the center. He took that away from me straight away. So at least I'm playing higher, higher points players, which is good. So this will show my viewers that um, what I'm telling them to do in my 13 strategies actually work. And I'm not just playing, um, you know, beginners all the time. Okay, so let's make sure it's safe to move into the middle and develop my single corner. It's safe, so let me start moving in. And I know he's not going to make uh, many mistakes because he's obviously a very experienced player. And uh, I know that he doesn't hack his points or else he'll be... I have so many points. Okay. Okay. Oh, my best move here is to move there because I still want to attack his double corner. Okay. All right, well, okay. He's blocking me from getting to the, um, the um, sweet spot, which is this one. So he's doing an effective job of doing that. And he's developing a single corn as well, as you can see. So my best move now is to go here, see what happens. Okay, now um, if I play here, then I could probably get a double shot if he plays there. So I'm going to, he's putting up a good game. So if I play there, he can't go there because he loses a man. So he can go there, goes there. If he goes here, he's going to lose um, a checker. So my best bet is to go here. Still wanted to keep pressure on this possible elbow here. And it's going to take me for a double shot. Okay, let me go here. 
and now he's going to move one of his back men to form a um, a line. Okay. Well, I can safely move here. Okay, I can safely move here. I can move there. And then his next move is to move away from the um, double corner. Because he can't take the double shot yet. He has to move away from the double corner. Right. So now... I think he's lost because he's created an elbow. He's moved... Um, he's moved... Um, two uh, three of his um back back line checkers and i've only moved one for my corner so again from a point point of view he is minus um six plus one seven points on a minus um i better play quickly okay he's lost he has lost okay where can he play he has lost. No, he hasn't. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. I play here. He can go and squeeze this one, and then I can't. I can't make use of the elbow. So we have to. The only thing I can do now is to play here, and give him a double, um, because he's the only move there is to play there. But I'm still going to trap him into with my anchor um, checkers. So he's lost the game because if he's here, I can get him for a um, make um, take advantage of his elbow. His only play is here now. It's either, he's only got two possible moves, either here or there. If he moves there, I will um, move the checker here to. Um, Get a um, double, and he'll get a double, but he'll be trapped. So he's moved there. So let me make um, take advantage of this elbow here, and then still trap his um, possible king. Okay, so let's do that. And I'm gonna it's gonna it's gonna break him up completely because I'm gonna take this one here next. I'm gonna go this way instead of that way. If I go that way. My king is useless because if I try to move it out, um, so let me take it this way instead, and that that puts pressure on this checker as well as this checker. I've got two checkers that I'm threatening to take, so I've got a free checker already. So he's lost the game. I can predict that he's lost the game already. Wow, this is interesting one. I had to play very carefully and think about it. Now I can let him go and get a king. It doesn't really matter because the king is going to be trapped because I've got my anchors. His kings are all trapped, so they're all useless in the moment. So that's okay for me to let him get a king because because he's going to be trapped. And if I do try to um, you know not allow him to go, into, he will still get a king by moving this checker out. So let me just get my king, another king, and then threaten this elbow here. Okay. Well, I can't go after the, my, my, can't go after this checker here at the moment because he will just make a, I will just lose a king. I can't go over, I can't um, do a uh, fork here. So let me set him up for a two shot. Okay, let me set him up for a two shot because he can get a two shot if I move this man here and he moves there. Because that is one of his moves that he can make. Yeah, you gotta think of all the possible moves now and try to face off. So let me see how many he's got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I've got eight. So I have the advantage. Okay, and let me move this man here. So he's going to get a king, but I can chase this checker down because, well, I can't really because he, he will just, yeah, he'll just move. 
So let me chase it down this way. He's playing a good game. Good game. Okay. So I know he's going to get a king. I cannot prevent it, but let me see if I can. If I go there. Let me see if I can chase after it with the king. I have to unlock this king here to chase him. And then you can count how many moves he has before, um, if you can un unlock him, or block him. So he's got one, two, three, four. I've got one, two, three, four. So I'll reach, reach in this position here to um, block his king from coming out. So his kings are all going to be locked up. And he's thinking about it. Well, they're not going to be locked up because he can exchange kings. If this king was not there, then they will all be locked up. But he'll at least uh, we can exchange. And I'm one checker up ahead, so obviously he's going to lose this game. And I've got my anchors, anchor checkers there. So yeah, I'll just stop the king from coming out. One of this king from coming out from a single corner, but he can just exchange and release that king. And you always try to trap the kings if you can, because obviously the king is one of the most dangerous um, men on the board, checkerboard. So I've got two. Okay, so I can't afford these two checkers here because I'm going to lose a king from, for a single checker, which is not worth the while. Always try to keep your kings in tech. Well, I gotta make sure he makes a move. Okay, so if the king comes back here, I can then exchange. So get rid of his king. Gotta force him. I'm gonna try to face off, so I'm gonna try to force this king back and face off with this king. He's going to try to get another king going through here. So at least let me try to face off. And I don't want to break up my two anchor men. Unless it's the trade for his king, of course. So this will isolate this king at least here. Oh, okay. Well, I can stretch kings and get Get another king, but I can block him. Okay, so let's just go after this one and then block him. I can't stop him from getting a king, but at least I can stop him from coming out because, again, because I've got these two anchor checkers here. Well, let's try a little, little, little trap. I'm going to move my um, king here, and then if he continues trying to get a king, I will get a double. Can you see it? You can pause the um, video if you like and um, see how I'm, I can do that. I'll give you a few more minutes before I have to play because I'll run out of time. Okay, so I have to play here. It's a little trap for him because remember to be a good player and sometimes save you know save the game when you you've made a mistake and one check it down, you've got to set traps. Well he saw it. Okay. Alright, so I've got to confine his king. And I can say so let me confine this king to one square. You can only only move this king here now, back and forth. And then I will isolate, stop this king from coming out. So he'll get two kings, but they're going to be very ineffective. Okay. He's thinking about it. Now let me make sure it's safe to do this, that he can't get a two shot. If, if this was a king, no, well, he wouldn't get a two shot. 
Okay, so let's block the king from coming out. So one of his moves, he's got two two possible moves. He can move here, that's right, or he can move there. So okay. So let's try to get rid of his kings. Okay, so the best way, I've got to think, I've remember the rule, stop, look, look, think, and then move. Okay, so it's safe to move there. Let me just double check. Yes, it's safe to move there. And that traps the king. Traps all this king. So his only possible move, he's got two possible moves. Well, he got three. One, two, three. He's got, he can move there, he can move there, he can move there. So as long as you can predict where you can move, again, you're in great shape. And I am in great shape at the moment. I have, he has six checkers. I have seven. So I'm one up. His kings are all trapped. Okay. So he's running out of moves. So I don't want to back up this checker check here to form a line so i'm gonna move my king away he can't um, get a double by moving check here because this is a king so my best move would be here can you see it what my best move will be it will be here well if he moves there i get a double if he moves there i get a double okay whatever wherever he moves i'm gonna get a check on him because everybody's faced off now all these checkers are faced off. <clears throat> I am excited to win this game because I, th I think he's one of the highest rated players that I've played live. Some highly higher, higher rated players I do lose against because <laughs> Sometimes I don't think, well, let me see what he says. Good game. Okay. Well, all right. Let me just tell him. Um, yes. Um, and then go to. Oh, I don't. Um, go to, to YouTube and search for Giant Checkers. I'll just explain to him that. Um, Oh, I better play because I can run out of time. I hope he just doesn't quit. This game. Oh, my. This game is going to be featured. Going, going to be. I'll check on the time. Featured. Featured. Okay, so we'll go on there. Featured live with my live comments with my live comments on how I won. Okay, all right. Oops, one. Better play quickly. All right. Okay, so everybody's face off. So he's got, again, just count how many moves he has. He has possibly of three moves. One, two, three, and the game is over. <laughs> I'll don't check it out. Because you have to analyze how the games that you played and why you lost to become a better player. If you just accept you lost you know you're not going to improve how you how you how you play check it out i guess he thought it was funny <laughs> oh boy <laughs> okay he's got two more moves and it's all over
As I say, it's over when the fat lady sings. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. All right, I don't, I don't think you like my singing. So, okay, thank you very much, guys, for watching my daily live um, game. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I hope you'll click the like button and subscribe. So have a beautiful day. The sun is out um, and it's going to be another beautiful day in paradise. Take care.